Hey, hey, what's going on, everyone? So, something really awesome has happened, as you can see by the title of this video by Blaine Locklear. I won a PSP. How cool is that? Well, Blaine here makes some really high-quality videos. If you check out his channel, he does restorations, repairs, and mods. And his videos are actually really high quality. He he like has like a lot of really good high quality audio video equipment and whatnot. He's new to YouTube. He's doing some giveaways, probably in an attempt to grow his channel. And honestly, you won't be let down. I really think that you should go subscribe right now or at the end of this video. He's done some really cool giveaways. I remember one of the giveaways that he did was a soft modded PS3 Slim, uh, which my friend Maximum RD actually won. And so he did this giveaway for this PSP, and I was not expecting to win. You know, I've won some things over the years here on YouTube, but this one I really didn't expect to win. All I did was leave a comment saying something along the lines of, hey, cool giveaway, man. You know, because like, I wasn't expecting to win. I, I, I just thought it was cool. That somebody would give away a soft modded PSP. But yeah, yeah, I won. And so here here it is. And you can see that it's on 6.61 Pro C Infinity. That's the uh all the newest versions there. And so what I went ahead and did is I just put a bunch of games on it, uh, a bunch of heavy hitters. All killer, no filler kind of deal. And there's only 3 gigs left on that uh, 32 gig uh, memory card, which uh, Blaine included. And I, I noticed just how smooth the process was. And it was just so easy to, you know, use this cord, this data transferring cord that uh, Blaine also included to transfer games directly to this and I was just really impressed and you know, he also sent me these games got that one that one that one there Batman and Middle Gear Solid but yeah so I started thinking to myself I should do that to my PSP that I already own. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll remember about five years ago or so, I uh, came up with this video, my hacked PSP, which has a pretty substantial amount of views on it, at least for my channel. Um, you know, and I did get some shit for that because uh, I said that it's a hacked PSP as opposed to a soft modded PSP. That was the point. It was, the title was supposed to be like that in order to get more views. And honestly, I did that while I was managing a vape, a vape shop. And so I wasn't expecting it to do very well. And that's why it got the edgy title there. But I still have that PSP. And it has one of those dual slot memory card things in it. Uh, but I ended up just putting one 64 gig uh, micro SD in there and you can see that I have it at 6.61 Pro C Infinity and I actually got to this point by following along with Blaine's video on the subject and I gotta say he nailed it you know I mean it, it, it did exactly what it was supposed to do and so if you look at mine here We'll go over to games. Very little space left of that 64 gigabytes. Look how long it takes to uh, to get in there. It's trying, man. There it goes. Ridge Racer! <laughs> Check this out. Watch if I scroll all the way down real fast. Isn't that nuts? It's like the part in uh, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons for Intellivision where you're counting the arrows. 
You know what I'm talking about? Some of you know what I'm talking about. Here, let's scroll back up. Oh, that's nuts. I'll have to put in the, de in the description or the title how many games are on here. I didn't bother to count them ahead of time. But, so after I did the, the soft modding that Blaine uh, shows how to do in his video, I noticed that after so many games, I was getting games that showed up as corrupted data. And it was really annoying because all those same images, those ISOs, worked just fine on this one. So what was the problem with this one? Like, why was I getting that uh, messed up data or whatever? Well, it, it turns out that the uh, micro SD that I was using in this one was fake. And it claimed to be a 64 gig. Uh, but it was actually uh, like an 8 gig, or maybe a 16, I forget. I did the, uh, I did a test that I found online to find out how much, uh, how much uh, memory is actually on a micro SD card. But yeah, it was fake, and it said that it had 64 gigs. Uh, but once you got past that uh, 8 gig, 16 gig, whatever it was, mark, uh, all the data just came up as uh, bad. And so I ended up ordering a different 64 gig off of um, Amazon. And, uh, you know, it took like a day to get here, like most things off of Amazon. The Warriors, I love that game. But, yeah, here it is. And you can see that uh, there is a, a ton of games on here. I do have more games that I could have put on here, but I ran out of space. But I would say this is a pretty pretty awesome collection right here. I mean, you're going to get most of uh, the heavy hitters. There isn't any RPGs, uh, some other stuff like that on, on here, because I just, you know, I, I don't really have the time for games like that anymore. I'm too old to be playing games that take 70 to 250 hours you know i i'm more I, I like games like metal slug carry where i can smash through a level real quick and then uh be good for a while and then you know play an era one after a while or even like ghostbusters there oops i pressed the wrong damn button like ghostbusters there um you know you can just play a level save at a checkpoint and uh you know play a little longer the next day, you know, or something like that, or like something like, uh, you know, an arcade game where you just, you, you play, try to get your high score and leave it at that, you know, but yeah, I'm really stoked about this, I don't know what I'm going to do with this extra one now, I don't really need to, probably sell it, you know, trade it, I'd rather trade it, you know, I, I, I feel weird about selling something that I got for free but yeah it's been a learning experience I've had a lot of fun with it and you know uh, transferring all these games does take some time and everything you know but like once they're all there it's just so worth it like I'm kind of thinking maybe I could do some kind of two-player games or something with these I don't know I don't know if any of them link up or whatever but, yeah, what a lot of fun this has been. And I highly suggest that you go subscribe to Blaine right now. Very cool. Thank you so much, Blaine. I appreciate it. I appreciate the nice letter that you sent out as well. And, I mean, he got he got this PSP, the stand, these games, that the cord and everything... He got them to me in like a day. It was insane. Like he was like, he had faster shipping than Amazon. But yep, yeah, I think I've uh, blabbed on enough about this. I will say that I don't. I still don't really care for the emulation on PSP. I went through and I tried a bunch of emulators, and I don't think uh, I. I don't think they really improved many of them. Some of them work really well, some of them are kind of, you know, not so great, and some of them are just horrible. I like my Vita way more for emulation, and so that's why I decided to keep keep this 
100% PSP games because it is a PSP and I think that, you know, I, I'm just going to keep it PSP games. And then maybe this one, I might put some homebrew or something on. Maybe this will be my homebrew one. This one will be my actual PSP game one. I don't know yet. But, yeah. Thank you for watching. And big thanks again to Blaine for hooking it up.